Five o'clock. More businesses can reopen their doors and restaurants can resume dine-in service, but only at 50% capacity. Hair salons and barbershops can reopen and so can pools. Perfect timing for Memorial Day weekend. In parts of our community, barbershops play a key role in reducing violence. And reporter Mark Becker is live for us now. And Mark, you spoke with one barbershop, thankful to be able to unlock its doors just in a matter of hours now. Yeah, Damani, 5 o'clock can't come fast enough for barbershops like Master Cuts here in West Charlotte. They've been closed for more than two months now, certainly lost a lot of business, but maybe even more importantly, communities lost a place to connect and really find themselves. Willis Drawn Jr. is better known to many of his customers here as Big Red. He's gearing up to give his first haircut since March, and that means giving his staff this morning the new regulations requiring masks and cleaning between every customer. But many of his customers come here for more than a haircut. They come for conversation and sometimes for counseling. And Big Red says it's not a stretch to say that while barbershops have been closed, violence in the community has gone up. We're not only barbers, we're like counselors. Um, we help folks out it, 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 in need of times to be able to communicate, to be able to talk, to be able to express yourself, to express your feelings. And that's the piece that I'm so glad that that's coming back. Big Red plans to start with something of a soft opening tonight at 5. They can and will give a few haircuts, but the big day really is tomorrow at 8 o'clock. That's their Saturday morning opening time. He expects this place to be as full as it can be under the new regulations, and it's going to have to pretty much, Damani, be appointment only because people won't be allowed to wait inside the barbershop for their haircuts. And it should still be Damani. a very busy weekend, busy weekend for them. Thanks a lot, Mark.